Hi guys, Roger, back with another video. In this video, we are going to tackle the age-old question. What does a cloud solutions architect actually do? I am an enterprise cloud architect working at AWS. But when I mention that in a dinner party, all I get is blank stares. Even my wife of 10 years think cloud is something that exists only in weather reports. Let's demystify this right here, right now. So I'll give you two different versions. One version is for friends and family who has no idea what cloud is. And another version is for the folks who has basic idea about cloud and thinking about switching their career to cloud or maybe thinking about becoming a cloud solutions architect themselves. On top of that, we are gonna go over what is the output from cloud solutions architects and we are gonna check some myths about cloud solutions architects. All right, let's get to it. So let's start with definition of architect. A person who designs buildings and in many cases also supervises their construction. And now let's see what cloud is. Nope, not this kind. So cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of compute power, database, storage, applications, and other IT resources via the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. One real-life example similar to this is electricity. When you need it, you flip the switch and then you use it. Once you are done, you just flip the switch off and that's it. You don't need to know how the electricity is being generated. And you pay as you use. Now let's apply that principle to personal computing. Let's say you do a lot of intense graphical work in your computer. With cloud, you can just use a very powerful machine from the cloud, make your CAD videos, and then switch it off. And you just pay for the time you use it. So now, if we go one level higher from your personal computer to an enterprise company, the complexity is much, much more. They have what you call a server which you can think of a very, very powerful and bigger version of your laptops. There are way more software and hardware in it. And all those servers are kept in a building called data center. And the company has to manage the cooling, the electric bill, all the connection to the servers, all the security, everything. So it's a lot of money and overhead. Now the company can move out of the data center and move everything to cloud and get rid of all this overhead and in the process save a lot of money. However, if we want to move all that complex software and hardware to the cloud, we need someone to create a blueprint of how things should be built, how would they communicate with each other, how do you secure it, ta-da! Hence, the cloud architect. Once the blueprint is made, developers can come in and start building the pieces, just like your house. So this is the friend and family version, folks. Now let's take a look at the core tasks of cloud architect for cloud aware folks. Cloud architects analyze current technology stack and gather requirements and create design in cloud using appropriate AWS services. They have knowledge of hybrid ecosystem, best practices, pros and cons of different services. Why do you have to know hybrid ecosystem? Because it takes time for big enterprises to move from data center to cloud. So till they move 100% to cloud, you have to know how to design architecture using both components from data center and cloud. Cloud architects have breadth of knowledge. They know little about a lot of stuff and knows a lot about few stuff. I highlighted this because this is one of the critical quality of a good cloud architect. You have to have general idea about all the services in AWS. However, it is impossible to know deep into each one. 
So you will design based on the general knowledge and then dive deep on certain areas based on the requirement. A cloud architect can adjust design based on organization priority. What do I mean by that? So there are different pillars of cloud architecture. Operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, cost optimization, time to migration, etc. So based on the priority of the organization, the design will change. So one of the most important quality in cloud architect is soft skills. Because you have to articulate the design to CXOs as well as dev leads. You have to have both elevator pitch and deeper dive ready. And you have to drive consensus. This next one is a must have in a cloud architect. You have to inspire people even though you are an individual contributor. If you think about it, resources kind of has to listen to their manager because at the end of the year, manager does their review. But architect needs to get help from those resources by earning trust and demonstrating knowledge. Again, going back to the soft skills, architect has to conduct one to few and one to many training sessions on AWS services and designs. So if you're coming from deep technical background, you probably have this number one and number two. However, you have to do some work on the soft skills and these training sessions. Now, this slide is pretty technical, but I wanted to give you guys an accurate idea. And this is from my actual experience. So I did not Google this stuff. So here are some sample questions and sample outputs from the architect. So I'm not going to read all of this, but as you can see, some sample questions are, uh, what does the application do, uh, current technology stack, uh, sizes of on-prem servers, uh, etc. And some sample outputs are design diagram and design document, uh, should we use EC2 or serverless or container, what is the cost and time, DevOps strategy, uh, etc. Now that we understand core tasks of Cloud Architect and some of the outputs they produce, let's look at some of the myths. I got my AWS Solutions Architect Associate, hence I am a Cloud Architect. So the questions that you have to ask yourself is, have you designed systems in previous role? Can you explain your ideas to wide variety of people? Again, if you are coming from deep technical background, this is the area that you are probably gonna need the most amount of work. So another question to ask yourself is, what do you like to do more? Architecting, developing, system admining, or creating automation? So the next myth is, easiest way to transition to cloud is being an architect. Well, it depends. Let's say you are a solo architect with no other architect help, and you have never architected a project in cloud before. So that's a lot of stress on you. For some projects, they need help on specialized areas, let's say security, and you already know a lot about security. So that would be a little easier. And it always depends on timeline of migration and criticality of the app. One tip I have is, if you know about automation, DevOps Architect is of high demand currently. That might be a smoother entry point. It is easier to transition to cloud with current role. If you are an on-prem Java developer, you can become cloud Java developer easily. Because Java is Java at the end of the day. All you need to learn is how to test and run your code in cloud. Myth number three, being a cloud architect is super cool. Yup, so is every other role in cloud. Start building and switch your career. I will give a link to my other video on how you can switch your career to cloud in five easy steps. That is the video guys. If you like this video, smash that like button and click subscribe. See you guys later, bye.